guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have another brand new Mattel Jurassic World Epic Evolution figure to check out. We've got ourselves the Mission Mayhem truck set, and this set happens to feature an obviously very cool looking Jurassic World vehicle and a brand new paint variant of the Ineosaurus. You can see that the box art looks pretty much like it usually does. Nothing really too different about this one, except for the fact that it does say up here that we kind of have our Ineosaurus living in like a swamp-like region, which makes sense considering the coloration. I like that. But here on the back of the box, you can kind of see a little bit of a sneak peek as far as the vehicle and how it works and stuff. And then also down here are some images of some other figures that are out currently, all of which we have actually reviewed here on the channel already. What's interesting about this set is I actually had it pre-ordered on Amazon for a little while, and the pre-order was stating that it was going to arrive on like the 27th of this month, and I just recently had gone on Amazon and saw when I was looking over Jurassic World stuff on there, I saw that it was in stock and claiming it would be here in two days, which obviously is way quicker than what it was originally telling me. So I went and canceled my pre-order and then just ordered it again and I got it way quicker. I don't know, Amazon makes no sense at all, so whatever. But regardless, I'm pretty happy that it is finally here, so let's pop it out of the box and check it out. So here is our vehicle now, definitely looking really cool. And then we've also got our Ineosaurus, which has something hanging from it. I don't know what that was, a little glue or something. But that as well looks cool. And honestly, I think I actually like this paint variant over the older one. I just generally feel like, even though the older one was cool with the bluish tones, but I just feel like this one looks a bit more kind of natural overall. But of course, again, I've never seen an Ineosaurus in person, so who knows, it could be the bluish color that the other one was sporting. But regardless, you can see it all does look pretty fun. So as always, let's jump to a closer look and check out everything from there. So as far as the vehicle itself goes, straight away one thing that's very obvious on this is we have the ability to kind of uh, capture our Ineosaurus with this uh, little object here in the front. I don't even know what you would call this, some kind of a capture device. And obviously you can actually see that both of them can kind of wiggle. They can obviously open up here to capture the dinosaur. And they're also nicely sculpted, painted with an orangish tone, but they do have some pretty decent fine detail to them. This is actually a separate piece that is not connected when you first get it. You have to pop it out of the packaging and then connect it. You can see we do have stickers there for the headlights, which is pretty cool. You can also see some more stickers down here as well as you move up here onto the hood. You can see that we actually have kind of like some damage that's been done to the vehicle. You can kind of see like some slash marks that at some point, you know, obviously obviously occurred from some sort of a dinosaur attack. Another one down here on the side, I like that. That's definitely really cool. The wheels look pretty nice as well as you move back. They move very, very smoothly, and they definitely have some nice mobility to them as well. Obviously, uh, I think that will help us when it comes to the attacking Ineosaurus. But as you move back, you've got some more slices right here, slashes, I should say, here on the side. Maybe these have occurred actually from the Ineosaurus, because with the horn that it has on the front of its snout, it definitely could do some serious damage. We do have the mirrors uh, sculpted out nicely, and also, again, you can see a sticker applied to those as well. The fine detail as you continue to move through the vehicle does look really good, and you can even see more damage down here on the side. They really did a great job of applying a lot of areas of damage to the vehicle. We also have that classic Jurassic silhouette here, that symbol on the side, and as you move up, you can kind of see the inside of the vehicle, even though it is a little bit dark, but... You can make it out a little bit, however, we will get a better view of it in there in just a second. You can see we do have some nice armored bars here over the windshield. Of course, you definitely want to protect yourself from the dinosaurs that live in this area. You can see the top as you move through continues to look really nice. There is also a little hatch here, which looks like it does open. Yes, it absolutely does. That is awesome. I really like that. Definitely having like super old school vibes, like Jurassic Park vibes with this vehicle. But that is definitely a really cool aspect as far as playability goes. I know as a child I would have loved having a little hatch like that that you could open up and of course you know put your human figures into but also the top does come off so you can have the Ineosaurus kind of smash that off so a little extra damage or just in general you can drive it with the top opened up you can kind of get a look back there it does look pretty darn nicely detailed back there in the back as well as you move up here 
everything looks really nice when it comes to the sculpt and fine detail. I guess this would make it easy to get your humans in there because you can't really open the doors. Again, some more slash marks here as you continue to move back. You've got even more right there, which is really cool. We also have the area over here on the side. Almost looks like something would be occurring with that, but it doesn't seem to come off or move or anything like that. As you turn it around, you can see that the tail lights aren't just a sticker. It's actually a really cool translucent red piece of plastic, which is definitely nice. I like that aspect as well. And then as you move down, you continue to see everything looks really good. Even the underside actually looks quite nice and you can see that kind of uh, launching device right here which we will check out soon enough and then again pretty much the same thing on the opposing side you're going to see all sorts of damage and stuff to the vehicle as you move through this is obviously the most significant difference from one side to the other is the fact that we have this like area that's completely smashed in and that is actually i believe how we're going to operate the gimmick for the vehicle when our Ineosaurus does in fact attack it but as you move through again it all looks very nice again more damage all throughout the side of the vehicle so the vehicle itself does look great and definitely has a lot of playability to it and then of course our Ineosaurus would be the only other piece to this puzzle and you can see the sculpt is definitely the same as the previously released version there are no differences that I can tell as far as the sculpt goes but the paint apps are of course brand new and primarily we have a nice dark green for the face but we've also got some really cool yellows you can kind of see them designed there under the eye as well as up here into the frill of our ceratopsian we've also got a nicely painted eye with an orange and it kind of looks like maybe it's just the dark green for the pupil but it does stand out really nicely so that definitely doesn't take away from the figure we have a dark gray for the horn as well as a dark gray for the beak which also looks really good you can see the head is that dark green almost everywhere even down here you can see the lower jaw is also that dark green but as you move back into the throat we do get that nice lighter green picking up and then if we actually push the head forward a little bit you can see that on top of the light green that we have for the majority of the body color we have more of the darker tone kind of designing and patterning here all along the back of the dinosaur even running down here into the thigh on the side unfortunately it does end before we lead out into the tail but i still think it looks really good overall and the paint apps again even if they don't run all the way out i think they look great definitely in my opinion the best painted version of this figure of course we've only had two so far but there is the fax app code if you would like to add this one to your collection but in my opinion this is definitely the better of the two Ineosaurus figures as far as the maneuverability of our vehicle goes you can see it's really smooth it definitely works very nicely kind of has some interesting noises Oh, apparently it works better if I go this way. I don't understand that. Maybe I was pressing down too hard on one side. I'm not too sure. You can see how it can kind of wobble, which is pretty cool as well when it comes to the playability, I think. But, of course, we again have the hatch that moves up and opens. We also can take the top off. We have this, which I don't know if there's a button to sort of uh, operate it. I don't think so. I don't know, maybe I need to look at the back of the box, but it obviously does open up. Feels like it would have a button, but maybe you're just supposed to drive it up. Mm -hmm. Maybe this way. Yeah, it just kind of like drives up and latches on. Oh, look at that. It latches onto the dinosaur. It actually can lift it up. So that's the good thing about having that kind of spring-like effect for this. I guess that makes more sense now. So once you kind of drive up, it uh, kind of wraps around the dinosaur, then it kind of springs together and that allows you to pick the dinosaur up and drive away with it. And now we can carry our Ineosaurus away. That is an awesome gimmick right there. I really like that. Just that alone was cool enough, I think, for the vehicle. But then again, we've got this little area over here on the side, this little piece of like damage here. And we're going to try this. We'll see how it works out. We're going to move the camera back just a little bit to see if we can see this better. And then we're going to take our Ineosaurus and we're going to slam it into that area. And look at that. You know, with just that horn on that Ineosaurus, it absolutely annihilated the vehicle. Now, basically what happens... Oh, look at that. And even the top smashed off, so it looks like it's even more damaged. That's really, really cool. So, obviously, what happens is you press this button... And this little area here kind of springs out, which causes the vehicle to flip... And uh, at the same time, again, it looks really good. It looked, you know, pretty much like the dinosaur itself did that. So 
absolutely awesome. Mattel really killing it, honestly, with this vehicle. It's got some of the coolest gimmicks I think I've seen. And as usual, they continue to, in my opinion, innovate and come up with really cool new ideas. So I definitely have to commend Mattel for that. That is absolutely awesome of course also as far as our ineosaurus goes i do want to show you the articulation you can move the head up and down not so far down but up pretty nicely and also swivel the neck and stuff which allows even more posability for the figure and then of course the legs go forward and back the front leg is very stiff for some reason same deal for the rear legs they don't come out away from the body or anything and then you also have a swivel tail so that's really about it when it comes to the articulation i don't think we really need to do a size definitely not for the ineosaurus i guess we could measure the vehicle so for a length from the front of the vehicle to the back about 15 and a quarter inches or a little over 38 and a half closing in on 39 centimeters and then for a height about four and a half inches or a little over 11 and a half centimeters for a size comparison. There is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, Robert Muldoon, and the Collect Day Human Being next to our Mission Mayhem truck. And you can see that it's pretty much the size you would expect it to be. Kind of similar, I would say, to the size of previous vehicles from Mattel. So if you have any vehicles from Mattel at all in your collection, I think you'll have a pretty good idea already as far as what the size is. I don't think we really need to do more comparisons than that. Just a basic one for the vehicle. And we obviously already know what the size of the Ineosaurus is from the previous figure. And in general, it's just the attack pack size range. So you can very clearly see what the size of that figure is. So this brand new Mattel Jurassic World Epic Evolution Mission Mayhem truck set is honestly fantastic i actually think it's probably one of my favorite releases to come from this line so far which they've really had a lot of good ones but i just love the fact that there is so much playability with this set if i had this when i was a kid i would have played with it for so long i would have had so much fun with this first of all the ineosaurus is gorgeous i think the sculpt is really well done it's extremely high quality as far as the way the detail looks and also quite crisp and the paintwork is pretty darn nice overall in my opinion the superior of the two when it comes to the ineosaurus figures that have been released so far i definitely like the paint scheme and paint apps of this one better than the previous one on top of that, we have the Mission Mayhem truck itself, and they've done such a great job of sculpting this out to give it the obvious damage and stuff that you would expect to see on a vehicle that is consistently encountering dinosaurs. They've painted it quite nicely as well. I think the tones of color are pretty much perfect for something like this because clearly you're going to be using this vehicle to capture dinosaurs so you want some sort of color that would kind of camouflage your vehicle at times a little bit so you can maybe sneak up on them at least a little bit so the colors work really nicely and again perfect paintwork throughout and of course the addition of the damage and everything all throughout the vehicle is really cool i love all the kind of slashes and stuff the gimmick with the front there kind of capturing the dinosaur is also really cool again giving me that very old school jurassic park vibe and feel as far as that goes and it works nicely and absolutely grasps the dinosaur pretty darn nicely and of course the real gimmick with this is the damage there on the side where you hit it with the ineosaurus and it absolutely takes out the vehicle knocks it completely onto its side smashes the top off of it and that as well is so cool definitely a gimmick that kids are going to love but even me as an adult collector and i think most other adult collectors especially if you grew up in the time of jurassic park and that toy line you are really going to appreciate that and we also have the hatch that opens on the top, which is also really cool. So overall, this is an awesome set from Mattel and one that I definitely recommend picking up. So if you are interested, I will include a link in the description to where I purchased mine on Amazon. So make sure you check that link. Go grab this set and like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.